let me set up a crazy scenario to exaggerate a point. You just loaded a million rows into the table. They've all got the same CreateX ID. Then you updated all one million rows. So now there are two million rows in there. A million of them got the delete X ID taken care of. You've only got a million active rows, but two million physical rows. It's getting real busy in there and there's a lot of wasted space. Then you deleted half those rows, 500,000 of those active rows. Now what's going on? We got two million rows in the table and there's only 500,000 active rows. We've got so much wasted space, but you have finally got the table to where you say, this is exactly what I want. These are the 500,000 rows with the updates and I'm all set to query. Let's get rid of that empty space with a groom. When you groom a table, it actually takes all rows that are not active and gets rid of them physically. And this makes the block smaller. Everything's tighter. And now you are a lean, mean query machine. As soon as you do your groom command, the zone maps are completely updated and they're completely current. This also happens when you do generate statistics, an NZ load, or any insert or update. As you can see at the top, we had rows that had been deleted that physically are there, but not logically. After we do the groom, two things happen. Those rows are physically removed and the zone maps are updated. This is the easiest thing on the planet. We are going to groom a table. Groom table, the table name, records ready, and groom table, table name, records all. If you do a records ready, it's going to groom all rows that have not previously been groomed. If you say records all, it's going to groom everything in that table. What's really clever about the grooming process, it's a background process. You can actually have users running queries on the table and everything's going to be just fine. Now you can check which tables are being groomed by two ways. NZ admin and that'll do it or you can use one of the system tables right there and if you query that it shows you everything that's being groomed. Why do you generate statistics so you can tell the optimizer how big a table is and a wide variety of other things about it so it knows the best way to query that table. Anytime you're going to create a new table, insert, update, delete, truncate, it's going to generate certain base statistics. First and foremost, how many rows are in the table? Is it big? Is it small? Secondly, on all non-character columns, it's going to get the min max values and those are for the zone maps. Any table that's got more than 10,000 rows in it and that's the system default is going to generate statistics and that again helps the optimizer come up with the plan. You know the optimizer's got a little saying, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Let's take care of some data. There's three commands. I can drop a table and the table's gone. Of course, the data's gone. I can truncate a table. All the data is gone, but the table still exists. Or I can just delete from a table and all the rows are logically deleted, not physically. I'll still have to run the groom process. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The Nexus Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings.